This building on Grand River near Warren is known as the 4731 Arts Incubator. It's filled with colorful paintings and people who can create them. Derek Weaver manages the building and always thought the area was kind of cool. Then he read an article in Business Insider which called a tour of his zip code depressing. I can't believe that we're it's being portrayed to the rest of the country that way. Let's kind of do something about it. So he commissioned well-known graffiti artist Syntex to paint three murals on the front of his building to reflect what was going on inside. Then Syntex got permission to paint the building across the parking lot, and something interesting began to happen. We had, you know, little ladies stopping. We had, you know, college students stopping and everyone in between. Um, so, you know, I was talking with them. I said, well, what would happen if we did every building on this stretch of Grand River. Derek approached the owner of American Integrated Supply, a company that sells screws, nuts, and bolts. He said yes. So throughout the summer, the half mile between Warren and Rosa Parks became the Grand River Creative Corridor. As of now, we have over 100 art um, exhibits and murals in the project. Dozens of artists have worked on the project. Most are from Metro Detroit, but some from Ohio and even overseas. There is also a fine arts outdoor gallery at the corner of Grand River and 15th Street with a sort of Diego Rivera theme. As far as revitalizing this neighborhood, uh, kind of our way of approaching it is change has to start somewhere and we start with art.